The Indiana Pacers got themselves the biggest steal of the 2022 NBA Draft. And that man played for Gonzaga. But I'd be lying if I said he just played for Gonzaga in college. Andrew Nemhard. A guy who slipped to the second round was the first pick in the second round only because he was too old at 22 years old because he played a few seasons at Florida and finished it up at Gonzaga. Now, the Canadian Andrew Nemhard is a guy that you shouldn't be surprised who's having success. He was one of the better players in college basketball, playing alongside Tyrese Halliburton over here. Andrew Nemhard, literally. Big dog Steph Curry. He, it was incredible because he was able to play with a team that one would argue that was limited due to injuries and stuff, but they were able to beat 112 104 at the Golden State Warriors. 31 points for Andrew Nemhart. And it was amazing. 13 assists. That was the big thing. I love the little Indiana Pacers Twitter goes. Don't forget 13 assists. And last week we saw Andrew Nemard hit a three pointer buzzer beater to beat the Lakers. Now we get to see him go against Steph Curry, uh, grabbing eight rebounds, hitting five three pointers in 41 minutes. What he did right there with that stat line of 31 points, eight rebounds, 13 assists, five for seven from three. Only Jason Kidd, Steph Curry, Trey Young, as and now Andrew Nemar are the only rookies ever with a 38 and 10 with five made three pointers in a game. So this I'm straight up saying steal of the draft. We knew he was gonna be a guy who came out. And Andrew Nemar had, had Curry forced Curry to have one of his worst games of the season. Curry only had 12 points, three of 17 from shooting, two of ten from three. Literally, he upstaged Curry. Andrew Nemhart was going off and Steph Curry couldn't believe it. And it was one of those nights that it's not out of nowhere. The guy can play. He's shooting better than 40% from three on the season. Rick Carlisle is a good coach who, you know, he's not known to hand out minutes just to rookies. Guys playing 25 minutes as a rookie. Okay. And with TJ McConnell out and the Alburn missing some a little bit of time. The guy's been logging like 35 plus minutes in the last three and he's delivering it. He does everything, score, pass. This guy looks like a stud. I'm not gonna say he's an all-star because that'd be me legitimately being overzealous and I, that would be rude. And I, But this guy's a starter in the league for the next 10 years, okay? He's the steal of the draft. He's the best second round. Could this guy end up being Malcolm Brogdon and <laughs> winning six men of the year for this team? That'd be funny. That'd be funny. And I know Malcolm Brogdon won it with the Bucks, but I'm, I'm just saying Brogdon won six man of the year. Well, not six man, rookie of the year. Goddamn. As a second round pick. So that's something that could happen. And we can all agree that'd be so cool. But let me know your thoughts. What do you guys think of Andrew Nemhart? And with the team, first off, Jalen Stick Smith's awesome. Benedict Matherin's awesome. Isaiah Jackson's awesome. Aaron Neesmith. Rick Carlisle. Can we... Rick Carlisle doesn't get enough love. I'm serious. Rick Carlisle doesn't get enough love. And I don't want to sit here and be like, oh, this is about to be a Rick Carlisle stand. Nah, nah. I think this is just us sitting here and being like, hey, we're aware that people kind of took a crap on his, his perceived perception after he left Dallas. But I think he's a lot better than what people remember him. And I think when you look at a team like the Indiana Pacers, they're a team that's surprising a lot of people, okay, with their play. And maybe that does turn around at some point, but they're probably the 20th best team. And with this team being now improving, they're above 500. So I think what's insane is that everyone was waiting for this team to start unloading and having a fire sale, but they haven't. Yeah, they lost before last night, five of their last seven after starting 10 and six. The defense hasn't been as good as start the year, but you know, the offense has went stagnant. But Tyrese Halburn, Andrew Nemar, and Benedict Matherin, Chris Duarte are awesome. And Andrew, there's just 
they're starting to build that depth so i think when you see that that's like the best part about all of this is knowing that oh shit this team's actually going to be like a year away from being at probably pretty intimidating if we have to say so and nobody's talking about chris duarte like when you have a guy like chris duarte is still on the roster who duarte i know he's not doing i think he had better averages is i could be i could be wrong his rookie season i think he's playing a bit less minutes yeah his rookie season he played 28 minutes yeah i think it's a little bit the defense is what kept them off the floor plus Duarte, I know, has struggled. Someone tell me, hasn't he missed some time with injury? I could I could be 100% wrong, but 95% sure that he's been out with an injury, yeah. And I just wanted to make sure I knew he was out with injury, but and that's part of the reason. He, yeah, it was a, a sprained ankle. I didn't realize it's been that long. I'm done. Bye.